18 teams were left in the dust during the Junkyard Joust qualifiers, so we decided to let all of the losers compete in the Battle of the Losers. Hi everybody, I'm Aaron Yanda. Welcome to the Junkyard Joust. Tonight, nine teams are gonna compete, and then in the next match, the remaining nine will compete. Then we'll have a final in which the top three teams of each of these heats compete, and the winner of that match will get a chance to compete in season three of Junkyard Joust. Maybe with a little retooling of their team. Mostly this contest is just a chance to let these teams have a little fun since they didn't get a chance to do much in Season 2. Let's take a look at our teams. Ragged Rust is our first team. They had a lot of weight and they caused a lot of devastation, but they also kind of ended up devastating themselves. The team consists of Brace for Impact, Heavy Betty, Tagged Ragger, Wrecking Ball, and Bathurst. Tool Time was a team of risk-taking fools. They had a trailer that didn't fit on the track. Al and Tim put themselves at a lot of personal risk. Speaking of Tim, there's the Dixie Chopper, created by Tim himself. The classic Nomad. The Austin Healy. 33 Ford Roadster. And, of course, the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Next up, it's Sugar Crash. These are heavy vehicles. They're good at staying on the track. They didn't quite have what it takes to get through the qualifiers. Raisinets. Crunch. 100 Grand. Butterfinger and Chunky. The Black Bandits are a cool looking team, but that was not enough to get them out of the qualifiers. Featuring the 39 Chevy panel truck, the 1971 Dodge Demon, the Lincoln Futura, the 80 GMC Vandura, and the 2014 Dodge Ram. Carts and Crappers was a team that was, uh, you know, I guess you could say a little poopy, with Express Lane, Kick Cart, Hot Seat, Gotta Go, and Isle Driver. Say SWAT is a team that swatted themselves right out of the qualifiers with Unit 606, Whistle Wagon, Armored Truck, Road Raider, and Madison Police Van. The Bikini Bottoms bottomed out in their qualifier featuring the Ford F-150, Checker Cab, 57 Thunderbird, Billboard Truck, and Tanker Truck. The Webmasters proved they were masters of none in their qualifier with the Street Creeper, the Arachno Rod, the Black Widow, the Speed Spider, and of course Spider-Man. Shining Steel were a bit dull in their qualifier with Iron Man, Corvette Stingray, Dodge Super 8 Hemi, Etorium, and Eraserhead. Those are our teams, and now we are gonna start this match. Here's our running order. We're gonna start out with the Shining Steel. As you probably already know, all these cars are going to go down the track. If they end up sideways or upside down at the end of the round, they are out. As the Corvette Stingray takes his place on the track, he is locked in and ready to take a hit. Checker Cab's up for the Bikini Bottoms. Checker Cab smacks into the back of the Stingray and goes curbside. That could be a problem for the Checker Cab. You never want to be curbside, it's always a little bit dangerous. 33 Ford Roadster, cool time. Roadster annihilates the Checker Cab and then goes curbside himself. Let's see if the Roadster can handle being curbside a little bit better than that Checker Cab did. Bathurst, big hit from Bathurst, and look at that. The Roadster takes it like a champ, but unfortunately, the Stingray is upside down over in the tires. Bathurst survives. Now the track is cleared, except for the track buffer, Evil Weevil, and here comes Raisinets. Raisinet smacks the back of Evil Weevil and bounces back. Up next is going to be Whistle Wagon for a safe swap. Whistle Wagon hits the back of Raisinets and puts him curbside. Unfortunately, sacrifices his own well being for that. He's sideways now. There's still a chance he might recover from that. We'll have to see. Hot seat. Hot seat smacks the back of Raisinets and actually puts him back on the track solidly. Lucky for Raisinets. Spider Man now for the Webmasters. Spider-Man annihilates Hot Seat, but Hot Seat recovers and relaxes on the side of the track. He's probably going to be safe there. Now the 39 Chevy panel truck. Ooh, a good hit there from the panel truck. Almost pushes Raisinets off the track, but can't do much more than get him a little bit curbside. And now Iron Man's going to take a shot. Iron Man cannot do much either. Nobody's moving, and the cars are starting to stack up on the track. Here comes the tanker truck. Tanker truck gets things moving a little bit. The panel truck is off. He's sideways. 
And that was a great hit right there. And he can't quite get Iron Man off the track. Here comes the Dixie Chopper. This thing is unpredictable when it goes down the track. I'm kind of surprised Tim actually survived the qualifiers. And the Dixie Chopper just hits the back of the tanker truck and flips over. Tim didn't fall out somehow. He must be belted in there pretty good. Here comes the Tagged Ragger. Look out, Tim. Tagged Ragger just annihilates it. And look at this. Tim actually recovers on that Dixie Chopper and the tanker truck recovers. Pretty much everybody recovers. Ragged Tagger didn't actually do a whole lot right there. Big surprise. And here comes 100 grand for the sugar crash. 100 grand locks it into the track. Again, not anybody going anywhere right now. Unit 606 has the chance to mess things up a little bit. Unit 606 hits the back of 100 grand and loses part of his vehicle. It comes right off and lands on the track. The whole back of his truck now completely open. Kick cart smashes in to the back of that Unit 606 part and it goes flying off into who knows where. Wow, look at that thing fly. Kick Cart taking his place on the track, Black Widow. Black Widow smacks Kick Cart off the track and he tries to make a recovery, but can't quite do it. He's sideways. Black Bandits are gonna choose to send down the Dodge Demon. The Dodge Demon finally pushes that Raisinets van off the track. Almost completely, not quite. And now he's curbside, could be bad. Dodge Super 8 Hemi. The Dodge pushes Black Bandit off the track. He is in a perilous position right there. A nice little hop, and he might be out of it if he's not careful. 57 Thunderbird. Thunderbird hits the back of that Hemi and locks him into the track. Oh no, they're not really gonna try to bring this, this trailer down again, are they? Oh, thank goodness. Al actually left the trailer up on the hill. Uh, we'll have the crane remove that. He takes a good hit. Somehow doesn't come out of the back of the vehicle, but Heavy Betty might change that. We'll see what happens here. Heavy Betty sends two or three cars flying. There they go, and the truck almost gets pushed off, but Al somehow still stuck on the back of the truck. I don't know how he's staying there. That's defying the laws of physics. Here comes Butterfinger for Sugar Crash. Butterfinger finishes Al off, and he may have stayed on the truck, but now the truck is sideways, so... Yep, he's not looking too good right there. Here comes the Madison Police Van. Madison Police Van puts the Butterfinger up on top of the Whistle Wagon. Still right side up, though. Aisle Driver now for Carts and Crappers. Aisle Driver, big hit on the Madison Police Van, and that thing is heavy, and it just pushes it over on top of its head, and unfortunately also ends up upside down. Speed Spider for the Webmasters. Speed Spider quickly hits the back of that van and doesn't do anything, just stays in place. Lincoln Futura now. The Lincoln puts the Speed Spider out of the way of harm. Actually off to the side of the track there, he's probably safe now. Did him a little favor, Atorium. Atorium hits the back of Futura and gets up on the track. That's a bad position to be in. Billboard truck could capitalize on this. And he does. Atorium is annihilated. Look at that. Flying through the air, smacks into a bunch of cars, lands upside down. Good hit there by that billboard truck. Classic Nomad for tool time. Ooh, a nice hit from the Nomad, and the billboard truck is done. Off the side of the track, I don't think he's coming back from that. Brace for impact, indeed. And it wasn't actually that much of an impact. Surprising, considering how many grams that car is. Crunch now for the trigger crash. Crunch sends that brace for impact vehicle right off the track and over on his head. Little top heavy, I think. And that's tough, he's out now. Road Raider cannot do anything to crunch and actually just starts to go off the track. Not completely though, so not in trouble. And he gets totally taken out by the cart. And look at that thing spin over and over and over. Wow, that's amazing. And unfortunately does not land right side up, but what a way to go out. Carts and crappers, they uh, like to put on a show. Express lane even started the Road Raider spinning. Lots of spinning on that hit. Street Creeper. Street Creeper cannot do anything to crunch either. We are backing up farther and farther on the track. Here comes the GMC Vandura. 
A nice hit there by the van. Actually, a double hit. And Street Creeper it won't be creeping anymore. He is done. Upside down. Could recover if someone gets tossed on top of him and rights him, but it's unlikely. Eraserhead tries to get underneath that van and can't do it. Hits the track and just goes straight upside down. And that is an example of why Shiny Steel didn't do so good in their qualifier. You can't just hit the other cars and go upside down and give up the ghost. Now look at this. He's actually pointed straight up towards the sky. The Austin Healy. The Austin Healy puts that Ford on his back and somehow Eraserhead still straight up in the air. Hasn't moved yet. Oh, I have a feeling there's gonna be some movement now though. Look at this wrecking ball. He's got a wrecked car on the back of his truck. 145 grams. Here we go. Wrecking ball does a lot of wrecking. Look at that. The Ford goes flying up in the air. Man, that is some good height for a truck. Wrecking ball unfortunately goes right off the track and is done. But also Eraserhead is done and off the track. Chunky. Chunky pushes the Austin Healy up on the back of that van. There's a pattern here of cars wanting to go straight up in the air on the back of that van. Armored truck. Armored truck makes the Healy fall backwards. Now, he's not necessarily going to stay in that position, so we'll see what happens when Gotta Go takes a shot here. Gotta Go takes a big dump on the track, flips upside down, and he is, uh, well, he's not out of it yet. We'll see what Arachno Rod does with the collision, and yep, he is out. Arachnorod almost takes out the armored truck and is now curbside. Not a good position when you're about to get hit with the 2014 Dodge Ram. The Ram does exactly what you think it would do. It sends all the cars flying off the track. We got three cars in motion right there. The armored truck, the Austin Healy, and Arachnorod. Arachnorod making a great recovery, but actually the armored truck making an almost more miraculous recovery. Taking a look at the wreckage wrought by this round, let's see how many losers we lost. Bikini Bottoms took a big hit, lost three. Ragged Rust and Tool Time lost two. Webmasters only won, and Sugar Crash didn't lose a single vehicle. Good sign for them right now. Taking a look at the rest of the teams, Carts and Crappers lost four. Rough round for them. Also, Shining Steel lost four. Just not a whole lot going on with those teams. Say SWAT have two remaining, and Black Bandit still have three. We're gonna head into round two. We're gonna go until there are three teams left in this match. Sugar Crash is gonna start us off. Randomly determined running order, but Sugar Crash has the most cars, so they are automatically gonna start first with Crunch. Crunch slots in nicely on the track. Tough to get that semi out of there. But it looks to me like Black Widow has a potential undercutting here. Nope, can't get under, not heavy enough. And now they're both up towards the front, locked down the track. Here comes a big hit from Tagged Ragger. Tagged Ragger, a huge hit, but cannot do anything. They're locked so tightly on that track and he actually gets pushed off the track. Dixie Chopper now, Let's see if he can make it all the way down. Tim comes to a screeching halt right what? next to Tagged Ragger. He doesn't even do anything. I guess he, he didn't want to hurt himself. The Dodge Ram slams into the back of the lawnmower, sends Tagged Ragger upside down. The lawnmower goes careening all over the place, and Tim lands somewhere over by the crates off in the corner. If he's lucky, no cars will come off the track over in that area and crush him to death. Up now, Unit 606 for Say Swap. Say SWAT bounces off the back of the Dodge Ram and actually breaks the topper off. And this time he stays together, doesn't break any pieces off, and lands upright somehow after all that flipping, an amazing recovery. And now the Dodge Ram's gonna have to put that topper back on after this round's over. 57 Thunderbird sends the topper flying up to the crates. Nice hit. Ends up curbside, that's not so good. Hot Seat's got an opportunity here to do some damage. Hot Seat plunges into the back of the Thunderbird and makes them both go upside down. Hot Seat's still got a chance to recover, but it's not looking good right now. The Dodge Hemi, solid hit from the Hemi, and if the Hot Seat stays sideways, then Carts and Crappers are out of this match. Chunky now. Chunky, a nice solid hit. Almost gets that Dodge off the track, but can't quite do it. Spider-Man now. Spider-Man trying to go under Chunky, but can't do it. Chunky actually starts to go under the Hemi, and the Hemi starts to go under the Dodge. Heavy Betty's gonna cause some trouble here. 
Heavy Betty takes four cars off the track completely. And then he keeps on rolling and almost gets Black Widow off the track. It looks to me like Spider-Man's the only one who survived that onslaught. Wow, that was a big hit. And Shining Steel are in deep trouble here. It looks like that Hemi is upside down. 33 Ford Roadster. The Roadster, a nice hit there. Pretty much makes sure that Shining Steel is out of this match. Carts and Crappers and Shining Steel are probably doomed. Here comes the Futura. Futura, massive hit on the Roadster. Sends him tumbling off the track upside down. Nice hit there. And here comes the Armored Truck. Little tap on the back of the Futura there from the armored truck, and he locks into the track pretty nicely. Tanker truck's coming down next. Tanker truck can't get anywhere and just kind of flops over sideways. There was just nowhere to go for him. We'll see if he stays like that when Raisin Nets hits the track. Big collision there from Raisin Nets, and the tanker truck is upside down. Armored truck's coming off the track. Got a bit of a truck pile up going on down there. Ragnarod's gonna fly right into it. Arachnorod bounces off Raisinets, can't stick it. And somehow, the tanker truck rights itself, just rolls right over. That's gotta be the luck of SpongeBob right there. Bathurst mauls Arachnorod, pushes him, and then hits him really hard off the track. Arachnorod sideways at the moment. Classic Nomads next for tool time. The Nomad bounces off of Bathurst. Bathurst too heavy to be moved right there if you don't have some sort of undercutting. Here comes the GMC Vandura. A big hit from the van pushes the Nomad off and manages to get the heavy Bathurst off the track, but didn't do much damage. 100 grand. 100 grand pushes a Arachnorod back right side up. A recovery made a few cars later by Arachnorod. Speaking of Arachnorod, here comes his teammate Speed Spider. Speed Spider hits the back 100 grand and actually helps him stay stuck on the track. A little bit of webbing underneath that car. Butterfinger. Butterfinger pushes through the Speed Spider and starts to move 100 grand, his own teammate. But luckily, that was the final vehicle of the round. So they are going to be safe, and this is the devastation from this round. Tim still up at front. Looks uh, like he's probably going to be fine. And let's take a look at the aftermath. Tool time, a sad showing in this match. Tim may have survived, but his team is done. Bikini Bottoms just got one left. Ragged Rust, only two left. Webmasters and Sugar Crash stayed steady. Great showing by them. Carts and Crappers and Shining Steel are indeed out. Black Bandits are down to two now, and say SWAT down to one. We're heading into round three with six teams remaining. If anyone wants a chance to really shine in this match, they're going to want to go for Sugar Crash and the Webmasters, who are doing really well for themselves right now, and they're going to be starting off this round. Up first is Butterfinger. This vehicle's not traditionally what you'd expect to be a good competitor in Junkyard Joust, but for some reason the combination of a heavy up front and a light back is really good at giving him balance and keeping him a survivor, except for just now when Black Widow puts him upside down. But I guarantee you, he's not going to stay like that. He's going to flop off the track and I bet it'll be right side up. Oh, it's not right side up! He made a go of it, but he couldn't quite manage it and Butterfinger is out. That could be the first elimination for Sugar Crash. And Bathurst, a huge hit, knocks Black Widow out of his web, but he's okay. Bathurst, however, is upside down, so uh, sacrificed himself there for nothing. Tanker Truck bounces off the back of Vandura and does not get the rollover this time. A great effort there, but he can't quite keep it steady. And that Van and Black Widow are the only two vehicles on the track that are still around right now. And Unit 606 makes a good hit right there. Say SWAT's last vehicle, so they're staying steady right now and hoping for the best. Raisin Nets for Sugar Crash. Raisin Nets pushes 606 forward, squeezes him in between that van. Can't get him off the track. Right now, Unit 606 is still alive, so so are the hopes of Say SWAT. Arachno Rod. Oh, that's it. 606 is pushed off the track sideways. Not much of a chance of recovery there. Rackno Rod slotted into the track a little ways back. Here comes the Lincoln. Lincoln. Oh, look at this. Raisinets. That's a tough vehicle to get off the track, as we know from their original performance. 
and it's off and it's sideways. That is not looking good. Here comes Heavy Betty. You better get ready. It's about to get heavy. Ooh, a big move there. And how is that possible? Raisinets makes a recovery because of Heavy Betty's hit and there's a lot of bouncing back. Very ineffective right there, unfortunately. Crunch pushes Heavy Betty off the back of the Lincoln and now Heavy Betty is prone. The final car for Ragged Rust is in deep trouble right now. Spider-Man could end them for good. And Spider-Man can't do anything except push Crunch. Crunch wobbles and stays stuck on two wheels in the middle of the track. Well, I've definitely never seen that before. Chunky, ooh, takes out Spider-Man and Crunch is pretty much sideways and done. Heavy Betty's still hanging on. There's two cars left. Can Heavy Betty do it? Speed Spider. Speed Spider pushes Crunch completely off the track. That's going to be another elimination for Sugar Crush. Can 100 Grand hang on and not lose another team member? And he does. Speed Spider gets tossed off the track by 100 Grand. Heavy Betty hangs on. And that is going to be that for round three. Let's take a look at the aftermath and see what we got left. Ragged Rust is still in this. Bikini Bottoms are now out of the match. Sugar Crash lost two, and the Webmasters lost one, so that is going to put them both at three. And it's looking kind of lonely over here. The Black Bandits still have two, but all these other teams are out. That means we just have four teams left. One more team gets eliminated, and this match is over. Here comes round four. The Webmasters are going to start us off this time with Speed Spider. So as it stands right now, the Webmasters, Sugar Crash, and Black Bandits each have three remaining. It's just Ragged Rust who's in trouble here with one left. But Heavy Betty's definitely got her work cut out for her. Here comes Chunky. Chunky hits the back of Speed Spider and locks it onto the track. Nice and stuck on there. Evil Weevil getting tossed aside. Next up is the GMC van. The van knocks the Speed Spider off the track, but he makes a great recovery, very agile car. And now we've got a couple of tough vehicles stuck there on the track. They're about to take a big hit from Heavy Betty, but is Heavy Betty gonna be able to do anything to dislodge them, or is this gonna be a bouncing situation? Heavy Betty does it! Heavy Betty takes out the Vandura, goes sideways, and now Heavy Betty's locked on the track pretty solidly. That was a nice takedown. Unfortunately, I got some bad news for Heavy Betty. Black Widow's coming down next, and yeah, got right under there. So now Heavy Betty in deep danger. Raisinets is gonna try to seal the deal right now and send these three teams on to the next match. And it's quite possible that Raisinets just cinched it right there. Heavy Betty perched on top of the Vandura. Here comes the Futura. Futura, ooh, nice hit there. And the Black Widow is put upside down. Heavy Betty's still on the track, but still sideways. Arachnorod. Arachnorod goes underneath the Futura and goes upside down underneath him. Kind of slices underneath him. And right now the Webmasters are having a lot of trouble. Good thing they have Speed Spider off the track. 100 grand doesn't do a whole lot. And that is going to end Ragged Rust's attempt to go on to the Battle of the Losers final match. And we've got our three final teams. Barely. If you look at what happened to the Webmasters that time, they lost two. And they were almost out of this thing. So a close call for them. They're going to move on along with Sugar Crash and the Black Bandits, who just had Futura left. Congrats to all three of our teams who are going to move on to the final round of Battle of the Losers. In the next match, our remaining nine teams will battle for that same right. And the winner of that match, as I said before, will get a chance to go on to Season 3 and compete again, maybe with a few tweaks to their team. I'm going to be posting some of the new teams for Season 3 on the Patreon very soon. I hope you'll consider supporting the show and supporting the new season. Oh, and guess what else? Junkyard Joust now has a Discord set up by the excellent AJ Rotini. Thank you for setting that up. If you want to join the Discord, it's available to anyone. Come on over and talk about all the new teams, talk about strategies, talk about episodes, whatever you like. It's all over there. Link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time on Junkyard Joust.